Lakshman, right? And what we all know about Lakshman? So Lakshman is the younger brother of Lord Ram. Okay, we all heard about Ramayan. How uh, Ramayan is the beautiful pastime of Lord Ram. Lakshman in the Ramayan, we will see that. Okay, Lakshman, Bharat, and Shatrughan. Okay, so what happened? Long, long, long time ago in uh, Treta Yuga, there was a king named as Dashuratha. Okay, and he had no sons and he wanted really to have nice sons. So he did, he performed some sacrifice to Lord Vishnu to please him. And he had the Lord, uh, he, the king Dashrath had three wives. What were the name of the three wives? Uh, Kaushalya, 
Kekai and Sumitra. Okay. So after the sacrifice, what happens? They all got the they got some uh, and the, from Kaushalya, Lord Ram came, and from Sum uh, from Kekai, Bharat came, and from Sumitra, Lakshman and Shatrughana came. Okay, so these four boys they came in the uh, palace of Ayodhya. Okay, so who are the fathers of these four boys? Uh, King Dashratha and Kaushalya, Kekai and Sumitra. So Lord Ram, who is one of the brother of Lakshman, Bharat and Shatrughan, we all know that Krishna, Lord Ram, uh, he, they are non-different, right? So uh, Lord Ram, because he's the Lord himself, he used to, he's like very beautiful and very charming and good in everything. And similarly, his all brothers, they were also perfect in everything, you know. So, and the good thing was that they all used to do everything together. You can see here the pictures that they all used to take prashadam together. They used to go to the forest together and do everything together. And But especially Lakshman, he used to always serve Lord Ram. Wherever he used to go, he used to accompany him. He, he wanted to be, he always wanted to be sure that Lord Ram is protected. Although Lord Ram is Lord, he, is, he don't need anything. But still, he wanted to do service to Lord Ram. He had always the mood of to serve Lord Ram. Okay. So wherever he used to go, wherever Lord Ram used to go, he used to accompany him. So one day what happened? King, uh, this uh, King Vishwamitra came and he told Dasharatha that, uh, see, uh, at what happened, uh, where I used to stay, there are so many demons are coming and attacking. So can you send your sons uh, to uh, uh, like, you know, so to help us to kill their demons so that we can be easily, nicely do worship and do austerities. So first Dasharatha was not happy because he used to so much love Lord Ram. But he then he said, okay, fine, uh, because you are asking, then I can send. So Lord Ram, along with, because, you know, Lakshman, Lakshman always used to uh, be with the Lord Ram. So that's why with Lord Ram, Lakshman also went in the forest with uh, Vishwamitra. So here we can see the pictures, both Lord Ram and Vishwamitra killed a lot of demons like uh, Subahu and Marish, like Tarka, you know. There are so many demons in the forest. They were actually torturing these sages so much. And because Lord Ram is Lord himself, and uh, who is Lord Ram? He's Krishna himself, and uh, Lakshman is Balaram, right? So they both are actually brothers, right? And they actually uh, together killed a lot of demons and helped these sages to do their austerity, okay? And after that, they went to one place known as Mithila. Yeah. And there they got married, Lord Ram got married with whom? Mother Sita. And similarly, Lakshman also got married with Urmila. And she is the younger sister of Mother Sita. Okay. So then after that, all this forest visit, they all went to, they both went to, along with their uh, wives, they went to, they came back to Ayodhya. Now in Ayodhya, what happened? Uh, there was a problem, like they were there for so much time. And then what happened? There was a problem happened that mother Kekai, she wanted her son Bharat to be king. And uh, that's why what, what she did, she told Dashrat that, okay, I want my son Bharat to be king, not Lord Ram. And she wanted Lord Ram to go to the forest for 14 years. Yes, for 14 years. Then Lord Ram, you know, he's so merciful and he's so compassionate. He told, okay, fine. I don't want to be king. It's okay. I'm very happy if Bharat will be king then. But Lakshman was not happy because Lakshman always wanted to see Lord Ram as king because he always knows that Lord Ram is the, his heart, his, his only shelter. So he always wanted to be have, wanted that Lord Ram should be the king. But because of these things, he, Lord Ram said, no. I will obey whatever Mother Kekai say. So uh, he uh, he try he was uh, uh, he started for the forest. But uh, meanwhile, uh, Mother Sita told no. I will also accompany. 
and then lakshman told that i will also accompany you you can't go uh, alone i wanted to go with you i wanted to protect uh, like always wanted to protect you from everything i always wanted to have your shelter always wanted to be with you always wanted your company so lakshman also went with uh, lord ram and mother sita okay and her wife was uh, with, uh, ulmila was with uh, her mother sumitra in ayodhya only so while in the forest when in the exile period what happened lakshman he was always be awake it is said that for 14 years he didn't sleep you know why because he always wanted to be make sure that there is there is no problem or no danger for lord ram and mother sita he always wanted to protect them from any kind of problems like they are in the forest we know there are so many so much of like you know demons there are so much of animals so lord uh, uh, so that's why lakshman he has to always be always be wake up and always used to uh, see that everything is okay even one time what happened we all know this story supnakha remember that lakshman actually cut the nose of supnakha so this supnakha is the sister of ravana and she came one day to and then she saw she saw uh, lakshman and lord ram and she wanted to be mar get marry with the lakshman or lord ram and then uh, first lakshman said no i can't marry with you uh, you can ask my brother and then lord ram told no i am i already got married with sita she is here i can't marry with you and then uh, this uh, supnakha was so much angry and then she wanted to uh, like uh, kill mother sita and when lakshman saw that she is going to harm mother sita he just took his sword and cut the nose of supnakha and then she started crying oh my god my nose is cut my nose is cut and she started running towards her brother to lanka because ravana is her brother right so that's why in this way lakshman actually saved again to mother sita from the uh, from the anger of shupraka and then there what happened then after that one day what happened there was a nice deer who was roaming in the forest and in the, the that actually that golden deer was a demon and this was the plan of ravana to took sita mother sita why because uh, he he knew from everything from supnakha that there is a nice woman mother sita she is in the forest and she uh, like uh, ravana was not good man he was a demon right so he wanted to uh, take sita uh, to his palace and so what he actually planned everything so this golden deer came and mother sita saw that and lord ram he told she told lord ram i want this deer now uh, i want to uh, take him in my hut please uh, take him then lord ram actually went to take the deer and in meanwhile here lakshman was actually taking care of mother sita and then he uh, she heard the sound of lord ram that maybe lord ram is in danger but actually this was this demon this uh, uh, dear demon he was marich he was actually crying so much like uh, like uh, in the voice of uh, lord ram and then mother sita was so much like he was thinking what happened to my lord what happened to my lord and then she ordered lakshman please go and save lord ram and then lakshman first of all he don't want to do but he told okay fine i'll go and uh, but please be in this hut don't go anywhere outside okay and then she told okay fine but you go first and then uh, lakshman actually left and then meanwhile this ravana in came in the disguise form of a brahmana to take the charity and then she took actually uh, mother sita and she uh, and caught her to her uh, she took uh, he took her to uh, lanka and now we all know that how uh, lord ram and lakshman with the help of all the monkey soldiers headed by sugriva hanuman they all went to lanka and they actually uh, killed this ravana and all this demon soldier and meanwhile what happened this lakshmana actually he lakshmana always used to serve always wanted to serve lord so meanwhile in the battle when he was actually killing uh, ravana's uh, son indrajit what happened that he was actually also get wounded and unconscious 
and in that time there was a uh, there was a uh, vaidya vaidya is actually a doctor and he told that lakshmana can be only be conscious when there will be a special medicine medicinal herb which is known as sanjeevni which will be in some special mountain that is gandharva mountain in himalayas if somebody bring it and he can take it and then only he, lakshman will be conscious so who he who went to uh, do this hanuman yes the lord ram told hanuman told okay i can fly i can go and take all these things and then we can all see that how Ra, uh, hanuman he took uh, on his hand the whole mountain because he was confused what which one is the herb which one is the medicine then he took all the mountain all towards the to uh, give the give that medicine to lakshmana and when after taking the medicine that sanjeevni booty the, so he actually became conscious and then we all know that how lord ram and lakshman killed all the army of the demon of this ravana and ravana also got killed and then everybody was happy and then lord ram lakshman sita they all came back to ayodhya okay and you remember right we all uh, celebrated diwali festival and we were talking about that how lord and lord ram came from to ayodhya we all celebrate right so this this story is before that what happened all this this is the before story okay so now we all know about lakshman and i'm going to ask uh, some question about uh, about this story so all be attentive and before that we will talk little bit about l for lalita sakhi maybe some of you know about lalita sakhi and those who don't know i will just uh, say again that who is lalita sakhi so lalita sakhi you know sakhi means friend right so lalita sakhi is the uh, one of the chief friend of uh, shrimati radha rani yes our lord krishna and radha rani's chief gopi chief friend so actually it is said that there are eight principal gopis of radha and krishna and one of the principal go and one of the chief gopi is lalita sakhi she is the guru of all the gopis yes and her father name is vishokha and her mother name is sharadi and her husband is bhairava and she born in karhala in one of the village in vraj and then later her father brought her to ujjaga okay so actually and she is very beautiful you can see her pictures here she is very beautiful and she is like colored like like you know like uh, golden color like you know yellow pigment color and uh, she have a kunda also in uh, just near to radha kunda okay and where she used to always she, she used to play veena she knows so many instruments she is expert in making garlands and she is expert in making so many things like fashioning thing with flowers like canopies and uh, she used to uh, dance like uh, uh, she used to do uh, so much expert in fashioning the arenas of our dancing umbrellas and she knows how to do magic tricks and juggling you know and why she do all these things she used to do the all these thing to please radharani and krishna so what is the what, what is the main thing in her life what is the main thing in her life is to serve lord radha serve lord krishna and shrimati radharani the divine couple okay so she always thinks that how to please them how to please them what to do for them every time they she used to think how to serve them okay so we always should what what we should do we always understand that like lalita sakhi like we also used to think that how to serve the lord lord krishna and radharani and how to serve the devotees okay so we always used to whoever wants to serve radharani and lord krishna we should always take shelter and mercy of lalita sakhi she she will give us the mercy and she will reveal us how to actually serve radha and krishna so she is the and she is always protective towards radha rani because she is her friend and what we do with her with our friends we are always we, whoever is our best friend we always try to protect them we always try to take her side so she is always like that whenever krishna came to uh, quarrel and she always take radha rani side no no my radha rani is she is the best she is among the she is queen in the vraja so she is always used to fight with krishna but in her inside she always wanted that radha and krishna be together and always wanted to serve them okay so so what is the moral of the story of our uh, ramayan pastime 
that service to lord ram is the main goal of life like lakshman okay and we should always think of serving lord and his devotees and lakshman is the best example of serving lord and lord personally take care when we serve him and his devotees so we should not take get any fear when we serve actually lord and his devotees lord come and he will protect you from everything so never get fear okay always be happy and chant okay then krishna will come and will protect us okay so let's start with the question and answer session today so kids are you all ready yes four okay how many sons did king dashrath have yes four sons 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 four
Take us home back to Godhead. Take us back to Godhead. To Godhead. Hear our cry, Lord, and die. Hear our cry, Lord, and die. Lord, and die. Take us home back to you. Take us home back to you. Okay, great job, everybody. We're going to do it one more time, okay? Okay. Okay. Slow to speed, soft and sweet. Slow to speed, soft and sweet. Lord, just you are dancing. Lord, just let me are dancing. Krishna's name is everything. Krishna's name is everything. Krishna's name is everything. Go on, die, hear our cry. Go on, die, hear our cry. Take us home back to Godhead. Take us home to Godhead. Godhead. If you don't have clay, or you can make uh, like uh, you know, floor and water mixed together, you can make your own clay at home. Okay, so what we'll need is we're gonna take our clay, okay, and we're gonna make it into a ball, a nice round ball. If everybody has their clay or play doh, you're gonna make it into a nice ball, and you want to make sure the clay or play doh is maybe as big as your hand or maybe like a, a medium sized play-doh. You don't want it too small. You want it maybe a little bit. My daddy, I don't have clay or play-doh. You can make it at home. You can put some um, flour and you can take some water and you can make it like that. Do you have flour? Yeah. Yeah, chapati dough. Yeah, chapati dough. Chapati dough, yeah, you can make that like that. Okay. Okay, so uh, after making it into a ball, you want to uh, make the top side of, um, you want to put your hole in, your hand inside and make like a hole, like you're making like a bowl. You want to um, take it after you make it into a ball. So get everybody time to make it into a ball. And you want to stick your hand to it and make a small hole, not big, not too big. You can see mine. It's a little small hole. And after you make that hole, after you have that hole, you want to um, maybe make it a little bigger, not too big. You want to still make it thick on the outside, like maybe this big I'm showing you. Okay. So while you're doing that, you're going to uh, roll it into an oval shape like um, maybe a little longer, like this. Just keep on rolling it. Okay, so while we're rolling it into a nice, into a nice like tall vase or like a bowl, uh, uh, bowl shape, you wanna continue making it. Not too big, not, uh, not a big roll. Uh, I will tell you a pastime. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that Krishna loves to steal butter from butter pots, right? Krishna loves to take butter from the butter pots and eat them. And so I'm going to tell you a pastime of Krishna and the Surya Puja. I'm pretty sure you watched this one on Little Krishna too, if you watched uh, Little Krishna. So in um, that pastime, Krishna dresses up as like um, a Brahmana and he goes to uh, do Surya Puja for the Gopinis. And while he's doing Surya Puja for them, he steals all the offerings for Lord Surya to himself. And he tries to eat all the offerings. 
and um, he, he goes and he dresses up as very, very important brahmanas and he follows the um, gopinis to go to Surya Puja because the gopinis, they didn't find any other priest to do Surya Puja. So they, so Krishna pretended to become a, a priest to go. And he stole all their butter and their sweets that were meant for um, uh, Surya. So Krishna loves to play tricks like that. And did you know, gopis, the gopis never found out it was Krishna. So the next step you want to do after you roll it, you want to make the bottom of your um, uh, rectangle, circle, whatever you want to call it, a little more bigger than the top. So you're going to press it down in your palm, make this the bottom part more uh, bigger than the top part. Maybe put your hand in it, make it, bring it out a little bit more circular and more in a circle shape. So this may take some time to make into a perfect shape. But as you can see, mine is not that perfect, but I'm just, um, one minute. Okay, sorry. Um, so you can see that mine slowly forming into like a butter pot shape. It's very like, it's like a circle at the bottom and at the top it's kind of um, not fully fixed yet, but you can. So while everybody is doing that, I'll tell a pastime of Lalita because today we learned about the letter L and how Lalita starts with the letter L, right? So there was this one pastime of Radharani was ready to go to a swing festival with Krishna. And uh, so she was very excited. And, um, but then Narada Muni comes to her and he says, um, he starts to, um, she, she loves talking with Narada Muni. Narada Muni was one of her best friends. And Krishna told her, you shouldn't hang out with Narada Muni too much. Otherwise he may tell you to, you know, and Narada Muni only wanted to do this so he can make um, Krishna's pastimes more fun. So he comes and he talks with Radharani and Krishna's like, you shouldn't talk too much with Narada Muni. Otherwise he may, he may do something. Uh, he may like play a trick on you. So you have to be very careful. But Radharani did not believe Krishna. She said, you always play so many tricks on me. Narada Muni couldn't do a bad trick like you. You always are a trickster. Narada Muni is not a trickster like you. So one day uh, Radharani is getting ready for the swing festival and with Krishna and everybody is waiting for her. But Narada Muni went to Radharani's house and started talking with her for a very long time. And because of that, she almost forgot when the swing festival started. Then Narada Muni said, he goes to, he says to uh, Radharani, Radharani, did you know Krishna is on the swing with Lalita and not you? Because you were so late because you were trying to dress up very pretty. Radharani is on, uh, Lalita is on the swing. And actually Lalita was never going to sit on the swing with Krishna. Narada Muni told Lalita to sit on the swing on Krishna. And then he goes and tells Radharani that Lalita went to swing with Krishna. And um, La Radhi Radhika got really mad. She was like, why is she sitting there? I was supposed to sit there. So she goes and she's like, Lalita, why are you sitting there with Krishna? And um, Lalita said, well, Narada Muni told me to. And so Radhika, Radharani was like, oh no, Narada Muni tricked me. He made me stay at home for a long time. And then I wasn't able to make it on the swing festival on time. And then he put Lalita on the swing with Krishna. He was very naughty. And Lalita always loves to serve Radharani. So she let um, Radharani swing with Krishna instead because she's her best friend and she's really nice. So um, next, what we're gonna do after you make the bottom round you're gonna press like a circle, like right here to make the top like a butter pot shape, just like this. You see what I'm doing? You're just going to do, and not too much, very, very less. Okay, so this is how mine looks right now. I'm just gonna continue making it like a circle like this to make the middle very thin to make it this shape to make it longer we need to do this 
And then after we do that, we are going to take the top of our butter pot and we're going to pull it out like this. So put your hand like that and you're going to press the top of the butter pot out. I'm just making it very flat at the top so it looks like an actual butter pot. I'll answer some questions while waiting. So everybody's here. Okay, yes, Avery. Yes. Do you have a question? No. Uh, okay. I said, can I show my box? Yes, Brenda? Can I see it? Wow, it's so pretty. I love the blue color. Krishna's color is blue too. Mm. How cute. Very nice, Brenda. Thank you. Okay, um, another person that has a question, Sanmai, you have a question? Okay, Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. What's your question? Do you have a question, Tanmay? What was your question? Oh, you didn't have a question? Okay. Um, Shaitanya Charan. Do you have a question? What's your question? Oh. Can may I know your question? Okay. Did you have a question? Did My you have a pot question? is done. Your pot is done? Yeah. Can I see it? You have to show up, please. Where is the camera? Here. Oh. Oh, wow. It's so nice. Wow, Sanya. I think it's beautiful. I love your color. You made it very nice. Krishna's going to love it. Thank you for sharing. Okay, um, Akshara, you had a question or anything you'd like to say? Akshara? Hare Krishna? Do you not have a question? Um, if you're on mute, I can't hear you. Oh, well, okay. Um, how about Shreyas? Shreyas, you had a question or a comment? Oh, everybody has, um, has their hand raised. Um, okay. I am unable to mute anybody, Mataji. Do you want to unmute? Astra? What, Mataji? I can't unmute the one who had questions. Should I have Shri Hari? Oh, Shri Hari has a question, so I'll unmute them. Yes, yes. Oh, no. Look. This is Jimmy. Sure. Um, I, Hello, Krishna. My pause is ready. I will look. Um, oh, one minute. I, I just. Don't mind. Don't mind. Where's your pot? Too many photos. 
Uh, Nirvan is the one who's talking, and uh, I've spotlighted him. Okay, man. Um, oh, wow, it's so nice. You did an amazing job. Great job, Nirvan. It's so nice. Uh, yes, can I see yours? Oh, wow. Wow, it's so beautiful, wonderful job. You're all doing so nice. Thank you. That's my brother. Hare Krishna Mataji, um, is this all for today? Yeah. Yes, I think I think the pot, well for crafts, this is it. I... Okay, Mataji, thank you. So I also no, no, it is your pot. Pranam. Oh Pranam. Wow, it's so nice. I just love how everybody did their pot. This one is mine. It's not as good as all of yours. All of yours did an amazing job. Okay, before I'm gonna tell you um one more pastime. Uh let's see. I am going to tell the pastime. So another thing with pots is the pastime of Lar Chaitanya. And Lar Chaitanya used to be a very, very active little naughty boy when he was little. And um, his and then so they said in his astrology that when he grew up, he was going to be a very famous scholar. And his father, uh, his older brother had left home because he went to become a sannyasi and uh, his mommy and daddy did not want him to leave home either. So they told, uh, they took him out of school because they didn't want him to learn. Otherwise, if he learned, then he may leave the house. So they made him stay at home. And um, because of this, Lord Chaitanya was very sad because he loved school. So one day, because he really wanted to go to school, he went up and he sat on all these clay pots, just like the ones y'all made. All these clay pots, he went and sat on top of all of them. And those clay pots were the dirty clay pots, the ones they threw out after eating or cooking, the old clay pots. And he used to sit on top of them. So his mother couldn't find him anywhere. So, she, so when she went to find him, she found out that he was sitting on all those dirty pots. And she was like, Nimai, get down from there. You're not supposed to sit on those pots. Those pots are dirty and they need to be thrown away. You're a Brahmana, so you shouldn't sit on dirty pots. And Nimai said, well, mother, I don't know because I never went to school. I never learned about this. And because you never sent me to school, I've become very naughty and I want to go to school. So mother, um, so uh, when his dad heard this, he was very surprised and he didn't want to stop his child from going to school because his child loved it so much so he uh and he told he could he said to Nimai that he can go to school again because Nimai was uh said that if he didn't go to school then he won't learn good stuff and he won't be a good boy so uh his father agreed and he sent him all the way back to school and that's because he sat on all these clay pots because in Navadweep at that time, they would have like the ones that you all made today. We had, they had those clay pots and um, they would be very dirty and they would throw them out to throw in the trash because those clay pots were not good and they were not washed. So and Nimai sat on those and you were not supposed to sit on those because those are dirty. Okay, so I finished making mine finally i made it like this and if you want if you have any cracks in your pots you can take some water and you can just put it um over where the cracks are and make it make it yeah. and nice Mommy. um anybody have any questions or I would like to see some more pots. So I'm going to go through everybody's video and I'm going to see everybody's pots that everybody made, okay? If everybody, whoever's, whoever's done with your pots, can you show them to me? 
Can you hold your pots up? Wow, Mayuk, that's so nice. I love the color. Wow, Ram, you did an amazing job. I love your pot. Uh, Dhanya, wow, I love the colors. So creative. Everybody did it such a nice way. Um, okay, wow, I see everybody's pots. Ayush, Vidart. Oh, everybody's doing so nice, Kavish. There's so many. Wow, Nandini, oh, I, I have, there's so many pots that are so, so beautiful. I can't name them all at once. So we're going to all go into breakout rooms. And you can show your teachers all the amazing pots you made because everybody's is so beautiful. I'm seeing everybody's right now. And they are all so, so nice. Wow. Okay, so we can go into breakout rooms and you can show everybody your pots. Yeah, yeah we can add this one here at the post. Krishna Mataji? Yes, Mataji. Ah, uh, yeah, you are dividing more? Uh, I've divided them up, actually. Yeah, I think. Okay, so I think everybody can have a chance to share their rhyme and show their pots now. You can teach one. Uh, let's do the rhyme first. I'll repeat it one more time so we can all get it. And then whoever wants to say it, they can say it. And then we can show our pots. Lotus feet, soft and sweet. They can unmute themselves and repeat. Okay. I'll... Shall I unmute everyone? Is that okay or just a yeah, few? That, that, that's fine, Mataj. Okay. Everyone is unmuted as
Thank you, Mukunda. So nice. Would you like to go next? Parth, would you like to go? This is my pot. Oh, very nice. You go ahead, Parth. Um, Low this sweet, swat and sleep. Low the chanta da, chanta dia dancing. Par Prabhu Nityananda sings. Krishna name is Krishna's name is any. God Nidai hear our cry. Take us home back to God. Hear our cry. God Nidai take us home back to you. Very nice, Par. Thank you, Maharaji. Very nice. Okay, who would like to go next? Nivi? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Nivi. This is my play pot. Oh, very nice part. So beautiful. <laughs> Nivi, can you go ahead? Thank you, thank you. Love the sweet, 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 love the Krishna's name is everything. Lord Chaitanya dancing, 
Prabhu Nityananda Singh, Krishna's name is everything. Garnetta, hear our cry, take us home back to Godhead. Hear our cry, Garnetta, take us back to you. Wonderful, wonderful job, Lucia. Okay, um, would like to go next? Nushi. Go ahead, Nushi. Our lotus soft, lotus feet, soft and sweet. Lord Krishna dances. Prabhuji Nityananda sings. Krishna's name is everything. Guru, Guru Nitya hear our cry. Take us home <laughs> back. To Godhead, hear our cry, Garnitya, take us home back to you. Me. Wonderful job, Nishi. Who would like to go next? Me. Can I? Yes, Shyam. Yeah? Yes? Okay, go ahead. Lotus feet and some. And sweet Lord Chaitanya dancing. Prabhu Nityananda sings Krishna's name is everything. Goranitya, hear our cry, take us back to Godhead. Hear our cry, Goranitya, take us home back to you. Wonderful job, Shyam. Wonderful. Anybody else like to go next? Shivanch, Shivanch, would you like to go? That. Yes, would you like to go? Lotus feet, sweet, peace, Lord Satanya dancing. Just to sing. Parbunitya Nanda sings. Take us home back to the head. Thank you. I like to go now, Mataji. Yes, yes, go ahead. My name is Ram. Okay, Ram, you can go ahead now. Mm. I will want to repeat after my mom, please. Okay. Lotus feet, soft and sweet. Lotus feet. Soft, soft and sweet. Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya. Dancing. Dancing. Mm -hmm. Prabhu Nityananda sings. Prabhu Nityananda sings. Uh, Krishna's name is everything. Krishna's name is everything. Gau Nitari. Gau Take us home back to Godhead. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Ram. Very nice. Okay, who'd like to go next? Mataji, she, I want to repeat. I want to repeat. Repeat. I want to repeat, Mataji. I want to repeat, Mataji. I want to repeat after you. Mataji, I want to. 
<laughs> oh, sorry, I was on mute. Uh, yes, of course you can repeat. And uh, oh, yeah. all the kids who also don't know, it's okay to repeat too. Lotus feet, soft and sweet. Lotus feet, soft and sweet. Larger than you're dancing. Lotus feet and dancing. Prabhu Nityananda sings. Prabhu Nityananda sings. Krishna's name is everything. Krishna's name is everything. Garnitai, hear I cry. Garnitai, hear I cry. Take us home back to Godhead. Take us home back to Godhead. Hear I cry, Garnitai. Hear I cry, Garnitai. Take us home back to you. Take us home back to you. Thank you, Shivansh and everybody. Mataji, can you please send the tune in the group? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. We send Mataji. They can show the portal for everyone. Okay, now everybody can show their button parts. Mataji, uh, can I close all the rooms and then everyone can come back? Is that okay? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's almost time, Mataji. Yes, okay. yes. yes. Mataji, I'm left. What? Mataji, I'm left. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Lego. Wow, very nice Lego. I want to show you something. Oh, I can see this, Mataji. Janami is going to pot. Do you want to see everybody's butter pots now? Wow, Janavi, very nice. Good job, Nandini. You did a very good one. Asra, can you call Tanmay? He wants to sing the rhyme and uh, uh, he part. Sing the, that one kid can sing if you have it. Yes, Tanmay, you can you can go ahead. I can I can do anything now. You're Lotus there, Tanmay. I don't see you. Lord is sweet, soft and sweet. Lord is Dancing, 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 Take us home back to God. Hear our bye bye. Take us home back to you. Good man. Good job. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Tanmay. I saw you. And now you are happy, Tanmay. Go I liked everybody's thoughts today. Everybody did an amazing job. I thought everybody. Okay, so today, um, you all can share your thoughts in the group. Oh, you put your face sad than my. Shama Gauri. Yes, Shama Gauri. Can I sing the line? Yes, you can. Can you put um it back? Yeah, that's better. Put his feet and feet, Lord Chaitanya dancing, Prabhu Ananda Krishna names of Lord Chaitanya. Speak to him, Krishna. Will that be right? Take us home back to Godhead. Here, Mataji, can I tell you? Okay. It's time. Take us home back to Godhead. Wonderful, wonderful, Shamagodi. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, I'm seeing everybody's thoughts. It's very nice. 
Uh, but now we're going to end the call. You can all send your pause to the group, okay? So let's say uh, our prayers. Thank you.